And it's really one of my greatest passions to inspire people to be sensual, to move their bodies, to activate that feminine quality and essence that we all have inside of us. That has been one of my biggest passions. Hello, my love. I'm Venus Dalmar. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. We're going to get into a little creative chat about artistic journeys. We're going to chat about sensuality because that's what I'm all about. And I'm also just going to share some of my end of year celebrations and rituals with you today. So first of all, we're going to light this candle and just bless up the space. I love working with fire. It's such a powerful element. Yay. All right. So we got our fire. And um, yeah, I just invite you to get comfortable and maybe grab a cup of tea. I'm sipping on some cacao right here. It is literally one of my favorite drinks in the world. It just really brings me to a deep heart-centered space of authentic pleasure and joy. And so I pretty much drink cacao, I think, every single day. <sighs> so one of the things I am constantly diving into daily, weekly, monthly is the creation process. So whether it's a song or one of these videos or a dance, there is this beautiful rhythm and flow that goes into our journey. And sometimes there are blockages, resistance, and things that we work through in order to complete and finish a project. So this is something I've been deeply in practice for in a very long time. And what I'm celebrating this year is really building momentum to video creation at least once a week. And it's been a journey of figuring out how exactly I work, what supports me. And I'm a big believer of having sacred structure in your life, whether it's for a business or a creative project or endeavor, any sort of passion, I think it's really beautiful to have a sacred structure that really helps ground and support you as you move through life and as you bring your creations to life. Celebrating your growth is so important in your creative process and for my end of the year rituals. I really like to tune in, zero in on what exactly worked for me that year. What are some of the big and small accomplishments I've had? How have I incrementally shifted into a more evolved being and just like allowing myself to celebrate that with a lot of sensual rituals. In this day and age, there's a huge emphasis on productivity, on getting things done, on operating under a more masculine sort of time frame and that has been really detrimental to a lot of people and to a lot of energies that need to rest like the cycles of nature so that's something that i've also really instilled within my practices within my day-to-day -day life within the bigger scheme of what my year looks like is knowing when to stop, when to rest, and to feel good about doing that. Feeling really, really positive about the spaciousness that I take to nurture and nourish my mind, body, and soul, and really tuning back into how my heart is feeling, how my body is feeling, how my mental space is, and doing anything to nourish any and all of these spaces. So where I'm at in my creation process is I am still filming lots of YouTube videos just from my phone. I have made so many mistakes. I am nowhere near perfect or monetized, but that is not stopping me from keeping on going and from improving upon what I've created so far. And just to celebrate how proud of myself I am, for being able to show up in this way, which sometimes to my nervous system, if I'm totally honest, is a little intense and feels scary to my ego and to my mind to be broadcasting and sharing myself in such public ways. But knowing that there's a bigger purpose, that there's a greater plan, that the universe has my back and that I actually really love creation even if 
there are parts of my being that are challenged by it. I've always been a really prolific creator and artist, even though in my journey, I hadn't really realized it until later. So one of the things that have been really fun for me is discovering new YouTube creators and just looking at different video content across lots of different platforms and just seeing what works for certain creators, different styles, different authentic brands, different ways of just showing up and sharing uh, art. It's been really, really inspiring to me and that's what I've created in my YouTube channel. One of my big goals is to have a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel because that means that my channel will be monetized and that I'll be receiving extra income from all of my videos for all the time that is spent on my channel watching my videos. So I am so, so grateful for your love and your support as a being here on my channel. It really means the world to me and I legit send you prayers every single morning. So if you don't know too much about my channel and what I have going on in my channel, the main playlist that I have that I'm super excited about is the sensual dance classes. So I've been really promoting empowerment through the movement arts for many years now as a professional performer and as a dancer. I've hosted showcases and taught many classes and it's really one of my greatest passions to inspire people to be sensual, to move their bodies, to activate that feminine quality and essence that we all have inside of us. That has been one of my biggest passions to share that and to align to this frequency of openness, of receptivity, of joy, of happiness, of tuning deep into our bodily pleasures. I really, really value that. And that is something that feels so important for me to share to a lot of people. So aside from the sensual dance classes that I have on my channel, I also have a new little playlist that are intimate vlogs, video logs. And this is a totally new style of creating for me. Some of them do not have the best audio or video quality, but I literally don't care. They were so fun to make and they really allowed me to grow deeper in my love for myself because I realized I was really capturing these snapshots, these moments of my precious life that would forever be encapsulated into a video. And that for me was a really divine way to create art from the heart, a really divine way to authentically show uh, the kinds of things that I'm into, connecting with nature, connecting with my sensuality, admiring flowers. Like these are some of the things that show up in my intimate vlogs. And um, I felt like I really went deeper into loving myself in a very like public yet intimate way. So that was a really, really fun way to create. And I am really grateful that I adventured into the world of what a vlog would look like for me. So I have a, another playlist on my YouTube channel that is Divine Feminine Wisdom. And these series of videos were also really fun to create, a lot more scripted. This video that I'm filming right now is not scripted, which is actually kind of scary for me because I don't know what I'm going to say next, but I'm just trusting myself and knowing that I authentically am just going to share myself and ultimately what these amazing platforms, social media and all that allow us to show up and share ourselves for exactly who we are. And um, anyhow, so the Divine Feminine Wisdom playlist is a series of videos that kind of just go over the topics of sensuality, sexuality, uh, how to be more sensual, how to tune into that feminine energy and essence. And I'm definitely thinking about adding a lot more videos there. Would love to know what themes kind of resonate with you. And in addition to that playlist, there's one more, which is the Dance Projects playlist. And that one shares a lot of my previous works of performance art, aerial silks, fire dancing, collaborations with other dancers, features my choreography. And I haven't added to that one in a minute, but I am wanting to upload something artistic there soon. So I'll keep you updated on that. 
So as an ambitious woman, I have a lot of big plans for this channel and it still very much feels at the beginning. And so I would love, love, love your support, whether that is to subscribe, to watch some of my video content, let me know what you think. And also I'm just really, really excited to see how it grows and evolves. You can also support my channel by the link in the description that says buy me a cacao. It's this really cute site that you can tip creators. And I just, I found it and I was like, this is adorable. So if you want, you can support my channel and buy me a cup of cacao. Sending you so much love. And again, would really deeply appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel share it and let me know if there are any other topics you'd like me to share on there i am really receptive to video requests so i love you so much sending you hugs and blessing you on your transition into the new year